I'm here with Danelle Dadigan, and she owns the amazing Hollywood Museum, once the fabulous Max Factor building, and one of the most historical buildings in Hollywood. And she is a woman of many distinctions. What do you want to talk about tonight, Donnell? Well, tonight we are honoring Ghostbusters, the entire film franchise from the original in 1984 to the one that's going to be opening in a couple weeks in theaters everywhere. And we're thrilled that we have the Ghostbuster Afterlife beautiful costumes and all the goodies that go with it you know it's so interesting to think that it's still living and still valid and still poignant 35 years later well there are so many really wonderful exhibits in the hollywood museum it's four or five stories well most people don't know what's on some of those floors but tell us a little more well, you know, last week we celebrated the 30th anniversary of Silence of the Lambs with Hannibal Lecter's jail cells, which were so fabulous, completely outfitted. Uh, and, of course, we've got Batman, we've got Back to the Future, we have got the science fiction, we have got all of the superheroes. Uh, it's quite something when you think about it, all that's here in the museum. And once upon a time, this is where Max Factor, Hollywood's makeup king, made all the movie stars look fabulous. Yes, and there are some really great makeup rooms in here because of Max Factor, I'm sure, but the Lucille Ball, Redhead's room, the blonde room, the brunette's room. Listen and to you! I love it! <laughs> Gosh, I've never been here before. No, uh, you know, I've been here a few times, and I even got a peek at the exhibit. Oh, I'm so excited, and I'm so happy you did, before everybody goes upstairs, you know, so you got a chance to see it. Absolutely. And one other thing I just want to say about Donnell, she has done so much for the Hollywood community. People have no idea what she has put her name behind and the things that she's created. Well, I'm just thrilled to do it. You know, it's all about giving back to the community. That's why we started the Hollywood Museum. It's a love letter back to the community. And, you know, why stop with the museum? We need to do as much as we can for the community, especially during these days today. Absolutely. Well, you're doing your part and then, and then a few other people. So good for you. We love you here in Hollywood. We love the Hollywood Museum. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank all right. you. Thanks, John.